been a couple of days since I snooped on Fang's phone. The guilt still weighs on me, but I found a way to cope with it. Even more aggressive shitposting on a Hungarian steak sampling vlog site. And I would be enjoying my day by myself in my apartment, playing games and shitposting. It's Saturday after all. Except I'm walking to school. Fuck my life. As it turns out, the school keeps a log of what the Wi-Fi bandwidth goes to, and the IT guy probably wasn't too thrilled to see I'd been using it to download the entire Saturnia collection. Spears sentenced me to one week campus beautification for using taxpayer money on a few dozen gigs of videos. Well, now I know to space the torrenting out a bit more. As I get closer to the dreaded building, the more the thought of ditching crosses my mind. But then the thought of Principal Spears pops up and violently pile drives it into a Prius. Weird thought, but enough to discourage me from ditching. So here I am now walking to the side and where the gardens of the school are. I can see others are here as well, probably all for detention too. Wait a sec, is that Fang? Why is she talking to that green weirdo from before? Wait another sec, are they getting closer? No, I am. Why did I walk up to them? Seeing Fang only makes the guilt more intense. I cast my gaze aside instead. Most of the flower bulbs are still submerged for the winter, but a few are peeking out. I see you are admiring our work. The gardening club takes much pride in our flowers. Oh, shit! For such a large girl, she's surprisingly stealthy. Good morning, Rosa. Ready for today? See, it's a beautiful day for gardening, isn't it? Um, you want to be here? Rosa's the head of the gardening club. Judging by Fang's tone, She's been through this kind of detention multiple times already. Oh, does he wish to join our club? Is that why he is here? Stella, Stella, we have a new member. Oh, wonderful. My eyes are drawn to the green Stego, who I immediately recognize from that encounter with the cards. Hey, you're that weird Stego from the other day. Her smile falters ever so slightly. Did I get the wrong person? My name's Stella, and I'm not weird. Right, so what was with the pocket raptor cards? I was just saying what my tarot guidebook told me. The, um, work of an astrologer is to show people what fate has in store for them. And that's what I do. Astrologer. Really? But there will always be those who aren't able to accept what their fortune tells. A. That's retarded. Two. Astrology is retarded. And thirdly, that sounds like something from a bad video game. No, no, no I, uh... Oh. The sulky Stego is pulled into a hug by the happy Hispanic girl. There, there, Stella. You're still my friend, no matter how much of the black arts you believe. You're one to talk about believing black arts, Rosa. <laughs> you and your magic dino in the sky. I'm Pinche Pagana. You're lucky I don't. Get all your asses out front right now! The caveman's bellow reverberates throughout the entire school, even though I'm pretty sure he wasn't using the PA system. Not wanting to piss him off even more, I follow the others to where Principal Spears has a few other students gathered in front of him. The only one I recognize is the guy Trish had in a headlock that one day. Didn't expect you of all people to get detention. It takes me a moment to realize Fang is talking to me. I, er, uh, use too much of the school bandwidth. What, Spears catch you downloading porn in the library or something? No, just torrenting, like TV shows that I can't get on cable. 
She raises an eyebrow like she doesn't believe me, but doesn't follow it up. She must never find out about Saturnia. I'm glad you could make it, Anon. I think that's just about everyone. Not that he gave me much of a choice. You can thank Naomi that you got off with campus beautification. She was quite adamant that it would be more constructive than homeroom detention. Again? God damn it. First my schedule and the lunch card, and now this? Can't she just leave me alone already? All right. I'm sure you're all familiar with Rosa. She'll be supervising today. If I hear a bad word from her about any of you. I think I can fill in the rest. Spears nods to Rosa, who reminds me of Naomi with how overly happy she looks. Thank you uh, so much for coming out to help with campus beautification today. If we all work hard and have a good time, we can get done before you know it. How can anyone be so enthusiastic about coming to school on the weekend? So by the end of the day, we need to get weeding done in the gardens, as well as replanting older flowers. And some of the vines are ready to be trimmed back. Oh. Make sure you all get a pair of gloves and to return them before you leave. Fang raises her hand. Fingerless don't count. Fang lowers her hand. You should all pair off now to split the work evenly. Decide amongst yourselves. Even in detention, the partner curse haunts me. Everyone else almost immediately groups off. Leaving just me. And take a wild guess who else. I don't like how often this is happening. Can't say I'm a big fan either. Whatever. Let's just take vine trimming and get this over with. Fang starts heading to one of the ladders already set up near the wall. Wait, don't you need gloves? What? I'm not a wuss. You get some if you're so concerned about getting a few cuts. I just don't get this chick sometimes. I get a pair of gloves and some loppers and rejoin Fang at the ladder. Alright, cool. Uh, give me the snippy thing. I don't like the idea of you with a weapon very much. She flashes an evil grin. Hold the ladder steady while I do this. I've been here a few times. This is the easiest job of the three. If you say so. Fang is quick to scale the ladder, leaving me to hold it in place. I wish I could shitpost on my phone right now to distract myself, but my hands are occupied. Fang's disregard of me is made extremely clear as she carelessly lets the remnants of dead vines rain down on my head. Kind of glad I don't have hair, because I can't imagine how bad it would be to have these sticky plant bits tangled in it. Oi, shift the ladder over. But you're still on it. Don't feel like getting down. Come on, you can't be that weak. Whatever. I shimmy the ladder to the side, Fang's weight making the process more difficult. Damn my scrawny arms. All right, this is good. She goes back to clipping vines and dropping them on my head. It started building up on my shoulders and neck now. And now the spots the vines have touched start to itch. Hey. She remains focused on the vines dropping the largest clump directly on my face. Hey! <coughs> Never mind. The follow-up clump was even bigger and lands right in my mouth. After I finish spitting the wad of dead vegetation from my mouth, I try one last time to get her attention. Fang! Through my blurred vision, I can make out Fang's tail, slowly shifting side to side. And an evil idea comes to mind to get her attention. There's a less evil one too. Something that'd just shock her. I, I want to tug that tail. 
As I reach out to her, she drops another clump into my eyes, blinding me. I blindly grasp at her until my fingers brush against something covered in scales. I give the appendage a sharp tug. There's a shrill cry above me. That got her attention. Stop dropping shit! Minor fracture detected. Suddenly stars explode in my sight impaired eyes and I fall backwards. There's ringing in my ears and I try to blink the vines and stars away. Never do that again. Do what? The fuck did I do? Fucking pervert. What the fuck did I do? When I can finally see again, Fang has her wings drawn together behind her and her hands clasped on something also behind her. I think I fell in the flower bed behind us. It's actually sort of soft. You pulled my tail! I thought that was your ankle! Why the fuck would you think my tail was my ankle? Because I couldn't see because you kept dropping fucking vines in my eyes. So you pull my fucking tail, you perverted fuck! You weren't listening to me when I was trying to tell you to stop! We're both out of breath and staring daggers at each other. My eyes are still bleary and starting to itch now because of the plants. Fang is still protectively holding her tail, as if I'll pull it again. What? Why is your face all red? I was trying to tell you, these vines fucking hurt. That makes no sense at all. Oh wait. Yeah, humans. She tosses another discarded vine on my face. Cut that out! Ha! I could report you for allergy abuse. That's the weakest threat I've ever heard. Actually, in general, you seem a bit milk toast around people. What gives? I start prying off some of the vines stuck to my clothes. It's like, why waste time on certain people? You know, it wouldn't be worth my time to do something crazy. Fang leans forward on the ladder, pretending to be hurt. Oh, I'm not worth your time. Some people certainly aren't. It's just never meant to amount to anything or do anything important. She drops the smug expression for a second. Anyways, you should get up. Rosa will kill you if she sees you crumpled in her stupid flowers. A yell echoes from somewhere across the school grounds. He what? Shit, hurry up! Hang on. I try leaning up. The bush is intertwined with my clothes. I'm stuck! You actual- Rosa scrambles over and starts pulling at her hair when she sees me stuck in the bush. What? You- Why? Ugh!